Hey everybody, John Peterson here, and today I have got a quick tip for you on editing your images in Lightroom. You know, traditionally I've used Lightroom just as a catalog tool to catalog and review my images, but with several of the updates that have come through Lightroom in the last couple of years, it has turned into an incredibly useful and powerful editing tool for me. And you know, I still do a lot of my work in Photoshop, especially for my fine art prints that I want to make. But for a lot of my edits that I just share online, I'm more than happy with using Lightroom. It is a fantastic tool to have. And you know, there's so much that Lightroom offers that it's hard to know everything about everything in the tool. So today I've got this great little tip for you to see, this wonderful little tool for you to quickly adjust hue, saturation, and luminance, or even the tone curve with this one little little tool that's not uh, you know super evident as you look at the application so let's dive in and take a look all right let's go ahead and jump into Lightroom and take a look at this little tip that I have that may help you speed up your processing and or become a lot more accurate with what you want to do so let's jump over into the develop module and here's just the standard develop module and in this shot here this is a shot that I uh, took in Iceland in January I had a workshop over there and uh, we saw these reindeer running along the side of the road and I thought it was really kind of cool um, with low angle sunlight ocean in the distance and then we had these reindeer coming up right in front of us which was great now this wonderful little tip I have for you is that if you scroll down to the tone curve or the HSL panel let's go ahead and look in the HSL panel I've got all selected but you can have just saturation hue or luminance but with all when you're looking at all of these sliders let's say the thing that I want to do is take a little bit of the blue color out of this um, this background this snow slope you know I could do a luminance range but it would affect the reindeer it would affect the sky I could just start moving sliders let's say in saturation and just start taking out some of the blue but guess what it takes it out of everywhere every blue pixel in this image is affected by it and I can't localize it I could do a mask of just the background so we know these masks up here just the background I could do that but again it would affect the ocean and the sky and anywhere else other than my subject the blue pixels would be um, adjusted but what I don't know if you folks have noticed but you see this little thing right here it's right next to hue, saturation, luminance, and there's also one of these little radio buttons right next to the tone curve. But if I click on this and then put my cursor out into the image, notice how my cursor has changed. It's now crosshairs with a directional indicator up and down. And I can put my cursor on the color that I want to adjust. So let's say this blue and I hold down the left key and I drag my mouse down and look at the sliders over on the left. It's happened, it, in this case I'm affecting only the blue channel, but I can slide it up to increase blue if I want that blue and gold look, or I can decrease it by taking a little bit of the blue out. And, and in this case that's kind of what I wanted to do was just decrease a little bit of that blue. And if I wanted to brighten up this color just a little bit I could click down in luminance and raise this up just a little bit and so just the blue pixels that I clicked on this sort of tonal value this color value is the thing that's going to get picked up fantastic little tools to have it really lets you target specific colors and only affect those colors so let's jump up over to another image. This is uh, uh, from Katmai National Park up in Alaska. I had a workshop up there last year. We had a great group, lots of great interactions. Um, 
And and you can see that I've got different tonal values here. I've got the bears, um, and I can do great adjustments of the bears by using the masking tool. So mask and subject. I can get in and really start working the uh, the details of the bears by just masking them out. But in this case, let's say I just want to affect the greens. You know, I I again could. Just grab my slider and start moving it and it's going to affect everything. But if there's a specific green that I want, like a deeper green, I can come down into saturation, click this little button, and it's this darker green that I want to really boost the saturation of. So if I hold the left mouse button down and increase this, you can see that where I had my mouse cursor, it affected the green and a little bit of yellow. Because in this green down here, there is just a smidge of yellow. So I can do, uh, I can do both with this. So this is a fantastic tool, absolutely fantastic tool, to put uh, targeted adjustments in just by putting your cursor wherever you want. So let, let's say this, uh, this water is a little too bright for me. I could come over here, left click on it, and decrease the luminance of this. And you can see over here, it took out blue, a little bit of aqua, and it added a little bit of purple for some reason. So there you go, real easy, real simple, real. Last example, this shot here from the Oregon coast in Bandon during another one of my workshops. Um, as we see the image is the way it is, I like it, but I may want to take just a little bit, a little bit of the orange and yellow out of this. You know, and I could, I could again decrease the saturation sliders, but this is going to affect it globally. And so any yellow and orange that I have in the sky may get affected by these global sliders. So what I can do is with my saturation and that cool little drag to adjust feature, I can hover over the rock and get this specific tonal value and adjust it downwards. So it's, it's affecting the orange and the yellow. That's a little too much. I just want to take a little bit of that orange out of there. So I went from, you know, I went from that to that. It's a subtle change, but it let me target just the light on the rocks. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use this tool. This is a fantastic tool that doesn't get enough advertisement, I think, in, in everybody that talks about Lightroom. So go ahead and use these click to adjust features for hue, saturation, luminance. And then if you want also tonal adjustment, this is the last thing I'll touch on. So, you know, you can affect the tone curve of a specific tonal value. Click and slide and you can see how the tone curve moves up and the tone curve moves down. This is a little bit more of a global adjustment in that it, it'll affect everything in that particular zone that I have clicked on. So here's the darks, it's going to darken just about everything. Um, but it's a it's another way to add an S curve or specific points along the curve and make slight adjustments to the tonality of the image. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay tuned for more videos. All right, bye bye.